Hey YouTubers, this is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're dealing with a Bosch dishwasher. It has the E24, E25 drain error, and that just means it's it's uh, not draining well. It should be really easy to fix. Just take us a couple of minutes. While you're here, can you please press the subscription button below so you can subscribe to our channel. And um, also the little bell notification, we can send you new um, videos each, each week. Uh, we usually put them out on Saturday. And let's get right to fixing this machine now. First thing we're going to do is open it up and take a look inside. Uh, near the filter, there's a little piece in there that deals with the drain. It may just be loose, so we'll take a look. So this is the Bosch Ascenta dishwasher. It's really good. Just got it a couple months ago, and it's it's doing really good. But um, it did have the E24, E25 error. So we're going to take a look inside. So we'll open it up. And it'd be good to remove the two baskets. So the lower basket, you can just pull back, it comes right off. We do want to give ourselves a little more room so we can remove the upper basket. So in this model, we can just pull it out and then we can see these wheels here. There's a little lip. We're just going to lift up at an angle and then pull a little bit and then we'll lift up at an angle again at the end and that one will come off. That gives us a lot more room. And we look inside here, and we have this drain here. And a lot of times this can be a problem where uh, it doesn't get lined up correctly. It doesn't lock down and it kind of floats around during the cycle and food and debris gets caught underneath and can clog up the drain. So whenever you put this in, make sure that you get it, this part nice and flat and then turn the arrows until they line up. There's something in here. Let's open it up, take a look. Oh yeah, here we go. So this little thing is part of the drain system. And on the new ones, sometimes these things get loose. This is the impeller cover. So it covers up the little propeller thing that spins, that creates the, the drain. And when it sits inside the dishwasher, you can imagine it's gonna sit down this way. And if you look carefully, there's a little tab right here, like a little triangle where my finger is. And that should be pointed toward you when it goes in. So let's see if we can get this back in. If you look in here, let's see if I can get you a little bit better light. So if you look in there, you got some water in there, so it's a little bit hard to see, but down here, there's a little round thing at the bottom. That's the propeller or the impeller. And that thing's gotta be able to turn really easily. Sometimes it can be a little bit of um, broken glass or a um, little piece of chip porcelain that gets caught in there. And if that can't turn, it's a problem. So you should be able to reach in there with your finger and just be able to spin it really easily. Be careful though, because if there is something broken in there, broken glass, you don't want to cut your finger. But this one spins really good. So I would check that though. And if, if it doesn't spin well, you can reach in there with um, some really good tweezers or needle nose pliers and pull out whatever might be caught. There's the impeller. So this thing is the impeller cover. We're going to put this thing back in and what we'll do is just slide it down into position. And now we gotta make sure we click it in. It's in there, but at the top, there's that little triangle thing we were looking at before. We gotta make sure that thing is clicked in. So I'm gonna push this down in, and then I'm gonna push in on that piece. And I heard it click in. That thing there at the top is clicked in. That's good. That thing, that way it won't move. But if that gets loose, I'll push it with my thumb out this way to loosen it up. That gets loose. Now it's loose. You can see it moving around. Then it can't create the pressure and you get the E24, E25 error. So make sure that thing is down in there and clicked. I just heard it click again. Let's do it again. Heard it click one more time. Make sure you can hear that. Push it in with your finger, click. So that's great. It's in there nice and solid. 
All right, so we're gonna put the filter back in. So get the arrows, and then make sure you turn the arrows so they lock in and point at each other. And you got it. All right, and that probably is gonna solve your, your A24, A25 error. If you wanna check though, still have a little water in there, you can shut the door. You can turn it on with the power button and then you get this display and then you can press the start button for actually i can hear it draining already from the beginning of the cycle so let's make sure it'll drain you can see it shooting out you can hear it so that did fix it now if you're still having trouble though not getting any result you may have something up here by your faucet <clears throat> called an air gap we'll put a picture in here so you guys can see what an air gap looks like this one doesn't have an air gap usually they're right here looks like a little silver r2d2 looking thing and it may have a clog in it another thing you can do if you still have the e24 e25 is get underneath your sink and undo the drain hose that's coming into your garbage disposal or might be coming into your sink um, plumbing but usually comes into the garbage disposal just undo that one and take that drain hose and put it into a bucket and then press the start button again for about four seconds and that should get it to drain and all the junk should come out of that drain line into the bucket. You may have to shake the drain line as you do that, and that should that should do the trick. So it's either a clog right in here, or somewhere in the drain line itself, or if you have one of the air gaps, it's very common it'll be caught inside the air gap. And then with these modern Bosch dishwashers, um, that little white thing that we looked at before is a very common problem. On the older Bosch dishwashers, when you remove the filter located not here toward, toward the middle or to the right, but to the left, there's a little plate with a uh, Torx 15 screw. You remove that, you can pull the plate up, and there's an impeller right there, and you can make sure that that impeller can move freely and then make sure that plate is put back in. But on this one, it's very common on the more modern Bosch that that white impeller cover has come loose. Just press it in until it clicks and that should solve the problem. So thanks so much for watching our video on how to repair the Bosch dishwasher if it has a E24, E25 error. We really appreciate it if you can press down in the description below the donate uh, link goes to a PayPal link and that really helps our channel so we can keep offering these type of services to you. So thanks again so much for watching and look forward to seeing you on the next video.